Mineral number 20. Mineral number 20 looks like a clump of earth. Um, it is non-metallic, uh, very earthy. All right, let's go ahead and do its uh, hardness. My uh, fingernail will not scratch it. In fact, I'm kind of afraid to try and scratch it because it's kind of hard. Uh, the penny. So the penny scratches uh, the mineral easily scratches the penny, although it's also brittle. But when I get it onto the, when I can actually um, push it, push on the, uh, the penny, it scratches it, but it's brittle, it breaks off. That's weird. So it's harder than the penny. Next is the glass. Uh, it will not, it does not, well, it does slightly scratch the glass, depending on where I get get it grab onto there. All right, so it is scratching the glass. And uh, here, it definitely leaves a streak. It's kind of brown, brown streak, definitely brown streak. So it's very brittle. So let's go ahead and record some of that information. So it uh, is non-metallic. And I would call that earthy. Earthy, okay. Can't really see it well, can you? No matter where I put it in the light. Hardness, um, it scratched the glass. So that's five and a half to um, six and a half because it, it left a streak. So it was a brown, brown, yellowish brown actually. Yellowish, yellowish brown. Uh, cleavage now, it looks like it's all fractured. Uh, and it does look kind of curved. You see that? It's kind of curved. So that's more conchoidal fracture. Uh, cleavage, no. Uh, fracture, yes. Conchoidal. All right. Color, brown. And uh, it's kind of average, I'd say, and how it feels. Average. Uh, and then I would also kind of write that it was brittle. Brittle. All right, that's mineral 20. Go ahead and identify mineral 20.